Hi everyone, it's Jenny with Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. Uh, you can find us on YouTube and Instagram at Joey143Jenny. And you can also find us on Facebook, we hope you'll follow along, at Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. So today I am just in my studio and so I just thought I would turn on the camera and um, pretend that you're right here with me. <laughs> Uh, what I wanted to do is um, work a little bit with wax. I don't have any beeswax um, to do the beeswax um, type of oh waxing paper. But I did want to try some waxing paper. So I want to show you what I did. First of all, I uh, this is the process that I'm getting ready to show you. Um, I just used wax paper and went over it with some vintage paper. I really liked the way that looked. Um, <clears throat> then I thought, oh, let's just go the extra mile, and there's another one. And so I went and got an old candle, dipped into the candle um, wax, and just uh, kind of put it on uh, paper. And then I used my very old craft iron, uh, one thing I do like about it, I don't think it gets as hot as the irons that are now. This is called a travel iron, actually. But one thing I do like about it, it doesn't have the steam holes, because um, I wonder when people that have those steam holes, I wonder if that wax gets up in there. I don't know. <clears throat> but um, so anyways, I have that. And what I did was I, I'm going to show you that I just used the wax paper. But then I decided, well, let's just try it with some wax. I do like the look of it. Uh, it's it's pretty cool. I didn't get it all over the paper, which I think is totally fine. But you can see here a little bit of wax. Um, another thing is, is I'm very sensitive to perfumes, and it really made that candle. I had a very light candle wax, but man, when you put it concentrated like this, whew, it is something. So then here I took a scratch, a little piece of... Um, paper that I had left over and um, you can almost see through that now. I'm certain the beeswax probably works a lot better uh, than I did another one of those, another paper. Um, and and then I thought, wonder what would happen if I did my coffee filter, coffee, coffee dyed coffee filter. And I really like the feel of that. It doesn't feel waxy at all. It just feels strengthened. It's really interesting. So maybe you'll give that a try. And then I had this down. Um, and so you can see through this. So you can see the back side through and the front. Um, so you can, you can see a little bit through this. But I liked how that turned out. It's very fragrant though. So what I might do is put it between two pieces of paper and then even put it in my coffee dyed paper just to help um, scent those a little bit. You know, kind of kind of keep that scent a little bit less coffee-ish. So then what I thought, okay, so I'm going to go back to my original that I did first. And that was with just the, um, <clears throat> let me get my coffee out of the way here was just with a piece of wax paper. So basically I just cut a piece of wax paper, I put it above and below um, a piece, you know, some uh, of these little book pages that I showed you, and so I'm gonna do something similar to that. Um, all I have is a piece of scrap cardboard, it's packing cardboard, so it's even, it has a seam, and then I found this um, chipboard kind of thing, um, cardboard, so I put that down to cover the seam, <laughs> just giving myself a little bit of a barrier for the heat to not get on my table, and then I put a large piece of um, columned ledger paper just to kind of catch the extra oil from the wax from you know doing the heating and then at some point you know I'll keep this with all of this and then at some point I'll use this to do something so then so what I have here is I have a piece of a book an old book and I've got two pages here so I just want to see what the difference would be so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to I'm going to heat over this to just get what little wax is on the wax paper onto this 
piece of paper and then I'll show you the difference and I kind of like this the way it looks um, another thing that happens which is kind of fun um, and this this is a way that you can adhere um, different things together is that it will form a bond around here it's not permanent but it is nice and it fairly strong so if you wanted to just keep it in the plastic you could um, so um, that's another fun thing that you could try okay and then I'm just gonna put this digital from my porch prints over it because I thought it would be kind of neat to have you know maybe a little bit of wax on some of these well we'll see we'll see what happens so um, I'm just putting my iron down, scooching it along. This iron, again, like I think they've just really improved since. It has a lot of square edges, and so it can easily get caught on paper, and I've had that trouble with fabric even. So, um, all right, so I'm just heating that up. I don't see... This might be a little bit of a thicker copy paper that I used. I have a couple of different ones. Um, I don't see it coming through yet, so I don't know if it will on this copy paper. We'll see though. Now, if you were to do it with your beeswax, I mean, you would immediately see wax, immediately. But this is just a way to do it in a in not as much wax, but still give somewhat of a little bit of a parchment look. We'll see what happens here. And I've even done it directly on it, on, on the wax. So yeah, it didn't pick up very much at all on here. I'm going to set that aside. And I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and go over this. On its own. The only reason I keep picking it up instead of sliding is, like I said, every once in a while I'll catch the paper on this iron edge. It's not a smooth edge at all. So I can see it picking some up. Now, again, if you want that see through and you really want it to look, um, you know have that wax I would say do your what your bees wax but if you just wanted a little bit parchment looking okay so see how that bonded this you can see it bonded it together which is kind of neat you can even see here like that which is neat I think but I want to get it out of there and see what's what And it has a really neat feel to it once you do that. Now let's see what the difference is. So these are taken um, right out of the same little book. And you can see it made a difference in the way it looks. Pretty cool. Yeah. I, I So anyways, I really like that. I really like it. And there's still a little bit of wax on here. Uh, you could, you know, smooth out a little bit more. Um, and then, you know, I... I keep this wax paper because I use it to go under when I'm painting, um, you know, painting something, or I definitely use it under Mod Podge projects. So, you know, you could you could keep that too. So I'm very very happy with that. I love it. I love the way that looked. I'm gonna do this other one too. So here's one that I'll keep and use it for another project. And you could even make envelopes you know if you want to make envelopes out of this and I've done that and it's super fun because anything you put in it is going to show so you could make an envelope to put in your um in your journal and you know now that a lot of that wax is off of there it's just crinkly just crinkly paper so it's really neat okay I'm gonna set that aside excuse the reach and I'm going to grab another piece and we'll we'll go ahead and do this other one and then um, I wanted to work on something else completely different. <laughs> I'm just trying to get a few things done here um, off of my desk a little bit. Um, 
I think what I'm going to do is turn this upside down like that and see if it would pick up any of that wax. It doesn't look like it picks up much. Let's get this a little bit more up here. Oh, maybe a little bit. I don't think my studios ever smelt so good, but um, like I said, I'm I have a little bit of a hard time with fragrances. Uh, I think it has to do with allergies and such. Just a little bit more sensitive. Okay. So there's that. So yeah, that turned out kind of neat. It gave just a little bit of a, um, not really a transparency, but it gave it a little bit of texture in, you can see it a little bit more on the white. So that's kind of fun. And let's see what happened to this. I'm just going to go over it by itself here. Once, once my iron cools down, I'll probably go over it with, um, an alcohol swab or you know or something or an alcohol um, cotton ball or something to really clean it off because I do use this sometimes for um, fabric scraps so see how that's nice and you know has a bind to it so that would be fun to you know do that and then put something in a pocket or something in your journal Especially, I'm going to try it, especially if it's, I wonder if there's enough left on here. I don't have the wax paper in here. It's in the kitchen. But um, I wonder if I have it. So see how nice that turns out. Oh, I love it. But I have this old article that I, or recipe thing that I found. And I wanted to put it in my journal. So I wonder if I have enough wax left to bind that shut and preserve it a little bit and then put it in my journal. Oopsie. Okay. I found these recipes at a garage sale. It was like a whole bag of vintage stuff recipes and articles and things like that and little books and all kinds of stuff um was only two dollars and um so I went through it, and there were some things I liked, some things I didn't, but one thing that was there was a million pickle recipes. I mean, I bet there were 50 to 100 pickle recipes. I don't know if maybe this person, you know, maybe entered in a fair, and so they were just a student. <laughs> of pickles or what but um yeah so i'm gonna so now i have this it's just you know it's i mean it's not laminated i could definitely take that out again but what i am gonna do is now put it in my just as fun oh i guess it doesn't have enough you know well i can do it with a fresh piece but it'll have enough to just keep it good until um you know, for my journal. Okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tidy this up. <clears throat> Here's those papers. I think they just turned out wonderful. Okay. And I'm going to tidy this stuff up and I'm going to put my wax things. Let me unplug my, unplug this guy. Excuse me real quick and plug my iron here and I am gonna just quickly take a oops 
a dry cloth to it to try to get some of that oil off of there before it go all the way around the edge before it solidifies on there and then I'll take a um, like I said I'll take some alcohol to it here in a little bit and I'll put find a place that's not gonna catch anything on fire uh, okay I'm gonna put that away take all of this and put it away and I'm gonna just set everything waxy over here out of the way of what we're going to do. It's complete opposite of what we're going to do. And then I am going to use, you know how I am about not using a full, you know, wet wipe. But I am going to use one just to make sure I don't have any residue. Which is nice to pick up anyways because my journal that I'm going to work on is um you know off white okay so that's nice okay get that nice all right let's put this over here okay what i wanted to do is i wanted to begin putting on getting all my lace out i want to begin to put some lace on inside this i still haven't figured out what i'm going to do with this front but I do want to start putting some lace, you know, in here. Um, I'll show you what I've done so far. I copied an envelope onto tracing paper. Is that what that... No. Uh, this is... Um, oh, onion skin paper. I can't think of the name of it. I got it at a garage sale or um, a thrift store. I always look in their paper items because I can so many times find you know, paper really cheap. Anyways, I copied that on there. I need to put some stuff in it. Um, this is a, this right here, I'll put it up here, and I can't remember if I showed you that or not. You can see here, is the same fabric as this. And then I just Mod Podged a napkin on top of it. And then I just sewed around. So that's what that is, and I made a pocket. Uh, this is one of the map sacks that I made. I think I showed that to you. And then I just folded it up and um, cut a, you know, cut one end. This was the, this was the bottom. I cut it apart and made a little hole here so you knew that was a pocket. But what I ended up doing is, I don't know what I did. I forgot to tack it down. I don't even know what I did. But now I have all of these pockets, which is totally fine. I just, that's, I didn't intend to, but it's a nice little happy surprise. So then these were just things that I had made at some point. You probably saw me make some of them. And this is um, a wonderful torn um, coffee dyed envelope piece that I had and I just loved the way that it took and um, this is the you know back part and then I just reinforced with a little bit of paper put a little card in there and um, put a little card in here and then this opens out if you want to journal on that I just put a tab on that one this is um and the back of an em or the bottom of an envelope you know um that inside and I've used the bottom of it for something and then this was just one of a card that was cut out of a piece of scrapbook paper you know how they have cards and you can cut I think that it was like um six to a piece or something and then I had these little frames and I put that on there and then just use some of the faux washi to put it down and then I just you know put some junk on there and then um, this was the back side of that scrapbook paper and then I just put a little bit of paper on it just to give it some color and then this is just from a master board I had made this a little while back and then just sewed around it and I thought well I'll just put that in there give that a little because it definitely you could write on the back so, okay. 
this was a Rachel, this was a Rachel, I believe, one of Roxy Creations weekly challenge. And um, I don't remember how we made it. I'll have to go back and take a look at it. But it was neat and fun. And uh, then I just put a card in there. So another little journal card. I might put more in there. But anyways, and then what it does is it just flaps over. I went ahead and put, since it's in the front, I went ahead and put the heavy side here because it. I tested it. It made it a lot easier to turn. And then I just put a paper clip on there with a little bit of um, some scrap. Um some scrap flannel. Even though it's becoming springtime, I'm just hoping that this journal, you know, is one of those journals that someone would use um, periodically. Um, and then this is, this is something that I did. I don't know if you've ever seen this. I'd never seen anyone else do it, but I thought it was a, a way to kind of keep paper to where I, I didn't want to make another pocket here because I wanted this to have a page to write on. So what I did was I just cut out, oh, I hope that didn't glue down. I just cut out these little corners. Oh, it did. Oh my. Let me see here. Oh no. Let me see. First of all, I had trouble with it. There we go. Okay. Is it glued down? It doesn't feel like it's glued down. It must have just caught a tip or something. Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. I had just made these little corners, you know, just take a square and cut it in half. And um, then you do have the majority of this paper to, you have the majority of this paper to write on and then um, tuck it back in. One thing I did do is at the very, from about this, from here to here, just a slight slant in the paper so you can see it doesn't match up exactly. It's a slight slant just because that triangle goes all the way to the edge and then this way it fits in flat. So it's just a neat way to keep that closed like that. Um, here I've put, remember uh, we did that when I was organizing some of my stamps and things. And I made a pocket out of a couple of those, of those um, check, check ledger, you know, oh, what are they called? I don't remember what they're called. And then here we're here at the, at the middle. And then we get to the back side. Um, this is off of a book that I have. I just made a copy of it. And then you saw me make this. This is, um, or you may have seen the video or Instagram where I use the maps. And then what I did was I cut the maps eight and a half by 11 inches and I put it through my printer and I printed a digital on it. And this is, these are, um, Kathy Holden dies die cuts so that and then just another little pocket with one of those map tags again some more Kathy Holden goodies on that and that we'll see have I done any more back here oh I put a picture from a book on here. Um, I found an old book and I thought that picture was pretty. Here's another postcard copy that I made into a pocket. And then I just put, um, this is a tag and I put a cutout of a bird, two little birds, a little bit of music paper, some fabric that I stamped on. And then um, I just cut out a butterfly. And then this is another one of those cards from a master board that you can write on. So I've done a little bit um, since we last looked at it, but it needs a lot more done. And I was just in the mood to begin to put some, <clears throat> I don't, some texture to it, some textile to it. So I've got my Fabri-Tac here, and I still haven't 
dealt with my sugar bell my sugar bell um, bottle yet uh, it's a disaster zone I'm gonna take a sip of coffee real quick okay thank you I'm gonna put that way out of the way here I'm gonna get in the way of course if I spilt it everything would just be coffee coffee died all right so I thought well let's put something here um, this is, um, I don't know if you saw my flea market fine video where I had gotten this at a flea market, uh, just a ton of it for like $3. I was, I loved it. I might even drop that down like that just so that, um, some will hang out. I'm going to try not to be too overly, I find that if I'm not too overly concerned with it all, that it turns out so much better for me. Um, oopsie, just took that whole lid off. But if, um, I, you know, I just go with the flow with it, it just, it really works. If I'm too picky, I, I find that it just looks a little staunchy, but... Um, okay, so I'm just going to put a, hopefully a thin line here. Okay, I'll put the lid back on because that kind of goos out a little bit. So, oh my gosh, last night... Uh, my youngest grandson, who's in second grade and absolutely adorable, I, I can't express the cuteness that goes on in my daughter's family, my daughter and son-in-law's family. It's, it's, you know, off the scale cuteness, but anyways, my little grandson to second grade um, was in a little musical at school and so that turned out good I like that and um, the music teacher is absolutely phenomenal she first of all when my oldest granddaughter was there there was a young man that was the music teacher and he was super funny and full of spunk and we just thought he was amazing. Well, after the second year, um, I think he must have gotten a job somewhere else. Like somebody thought, oh, we better scoop that guy up. And I guess I'm just going to use two, even though I like to use odds. I think I'll use two. And, um, yeah, so anyways... Um, or maybe I'll just use one. He was great, super funny. He really got into the show. And so you could see him performing, you know, the little old McDonald along with the kids. Um, so it was super fun. But And when we learned after two years that he had been, you know, he was moving on to, um, you know, we live in a small town. He was moving on to a bigger school, which, you know, you can understand sometimes. Um you know, when they're starting their career, that's something they want to do is go into a bigger school and be have a little bit more visibility and, you know, whatever. Well, anyways, so then, so then the school got um, this wonderful lady, and I'm sorry, I can't remember her name. Um, and so for the last seven years, so for four of the grandchildren, they have all had her as their music teacher well she puts on a full blown production uh, costumes and, and i'm talking about like this is this isn't like a theater type of thing this is just their normal school um half hour presentation you know each each class has uh, 20 30 minutes of presentation and absolutely amazing. And her family 
is involved. They help with everything. They help um, with making costumes. They help last minute going to get stuff. I mean, they just, I look at what a mess I've made here. Well, anyways, um, last night was her final performance and, um, it was, it was of course amazing, but it was a little bit, it was a little bit sad. I know it was sad for her. She was retiring and, you know, um, but she has made such a great impact in our community, in those children's lives. Um, just for the, just the sheer love of music and, you know, for the kids to enjoy, you know, their first, you know, for many of them, their first, um, taste of theater, you know, by performing in something like that. She does, it, it's just amazing. I'm sure it made, has made a um, huge impact in many, many children's lives. And I know as parent and grandparents, it has, but this is such a mess. I'm not even going to deal with it right now. I don't know what to do with that. I think I'll have to put it in its own little, its own little thing. Now, I don't care for this to be ruffled, so I'm going to cut that off. And, you know, I like to use, I like to keep this and use it for something else. So we'll probably use it in this one. So anyways, um, my grandson was a zebra and, uh, I'm not, actually sure I get too caught up in the cuteness of it all all the little kids and then of course their big brothers and sisters and their little brothers and sisters who are mostly babies you know and toddlers are all around in the audiences and in the audience and so I just get all caught up in all the cuteness that I I'm rarely following along with what's what the a storyline is if if there's a storyline so anyways, yeah, I like it a little bit better like that. It helps me in a journal. So mm, we just had such a nice time. And it's been raining, raining, raining. Um, and so one time I had gone and the parking lot for the school, you know, is really about enough for parents and maybe enough for parent teacher conference so maybe or i'm sorry maybe teachers and enough for one parent car as well um so we end up parking across the street at a local at a small park which only has maybe 20 parking spaces we end up parking across the street and then people start parking in the grass and then there's a neighboring school. People will park at that and then walk over and park in the grass over there as well. And so anyways, it had been raining and I myself have gotten stuck in the mud before and I was just telling my oldest daughter, well, my youngest daughter was a little late to the to the program last night and she's like I'm sorry I'm late I got stuck in the mud so she stuck in the mud and we had to not we I mean we all went just to be spectators but um she had to be pulled out of the mud I tell you what there's just not enough parking for um you know all the parents and all of the grandparents and my Grand and aunts and uncles and friends and those that are investing in children. Um, so I hope that's something that will, you know, that they'll do differently going forward. We'll see. We'll see because it's been that way all of the children's school career there. But anyways, uh, we're very fortunate to live in a very neighborly uh, community. So... All right, so we've got a few down there. Um, anyway, she got out of the mud fine. Oh, that's pretty. I didn't even see that. I don't know where that came from. It's very delicate. I'll keep that out. Um, I love this. It's very dense, and it's it's. I don't know. I don't even know what it what it would have been for some type of trim it's very 
thick, almost like a, a thinner sweater, but, you know, it has a density to it. Um, what to put here? How about just a piece of doily? I think that'll be good. So we had a great time. And it's always nice to see the other grandparents. So um, it's my son-in-law's folks and then my, my girls, their daddy and his wife. And catch up with what's going on in everyone's lives and what they're going to do for the summer. And, you know, it's just, it's always, it's always nice to, you know, be with family. So it was a great time. And we got home and it was, you know, a little later when we ate and, um, later than normal and then um, started watching Goodwill Hunting, and uh, we'd both seen it, of course, but we hadn't seen it for, geez, I don't know how long, you know, 10, 15 years, I don't know when it was made, but, and uh, what a great movie, you know, if you haven't seen that recently, I think it's on Netflix right now, so we watched that, and I was... Um, Let's see, it's, it's written by, um, Ben Affleck and, um, oh, what is that young guy's name? Well, his buddy, you know, that's in almost everything together, what, that they do together. Um, oh gosh, he was, his name was on the tip of my tongue and then I was trying to think of Ben Affleck and I lost his name. But anyways, um, you know, I was telling Joe, I remember the first time um, I watched it and I thought to myself, wow, those young men did such a great job with such a complicated movie, you know. Now it does have language, lots of language. Um, they, they just, the writing in it, I just thought they did a phenomenal job. And I've never been a, I never was a Robin Williams comedic fan. He's just not my style. But anything that he's ever played a serious role in, I absolutely love. And I loved him in this, in this movie. And um, definitely a, a loss to the, um, that community and for us to watch his talent. Um but anyways, uh, so yeah, we watched that and, um, by that time it was so late, way past our bedtime. I feel like even though I have some here, I want a little bit of something here. So maybe I'll just cut this little piece off. Maybe I'll cut it around that right there. So basically that's that's what I'm doing today is um putting a little lace here and there and um I was gonna make it chubby and but I I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I've gotta figure out what to do on the front. I haven't figured that out yet. Probably a bunch of fun fabric, maybe I'll slow stitch something and put it on there. I love to slow stitch. I, have, I think I told you before, I have to kind of take it in in turns because of, you know, the pinching like this hurts. But um, I do love it. I don't know, maybe I will go across like that. Let me wipe off this lid here. Kind of got gooey. And then today, got up. I mean, I slept in. <laughs> um, but then I got up and I started, you know, just doing chores, laundry, um, bed linens. 
and uh, you know trying to get a few things done and then definitely wanted to play in here here comes the train Oh, I forgot to put the lid back on here. I don't know if you saw my video of the turkeys, but they are out and about. And oh my gosh, they're so funny. They're so funny to watch. I could just watch them all day. All the wildlife out back are fun to watch. Okay, well, we got a little bit done. So to, so we did a lot of our wax. We did the wax paper. And we did... Whoopsie. Those are my shears, my scissors. We did wax paper. And we did some lace. I'll probably keep doing a little bit more lace, but we're going to run out of time. I sure had fun. I'm so glad that you were along for the ride. I wish you were here in person hanging out and uh, chit-chatting and watching the wildlife with us. And um, I'm sure you have some inspiration on things to do around this place. It would be great. So um, maybe that will all come true one day. You can all sit across from me at this little yellow house and hang out. But for now, I guess we'll head out, and uh, I'm going to put a little bit more lace in here, and then um, I need to go outside for a little bit. But just know that we pray blessings over you, and that you're truly loved. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.